Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the Porter's How To Series. My name's Carl, and today I'm taking you back in time, 5,000 years to the early Bronze Age. We're going to be doing liquid bronze. Simple product to use, it's made from real bronze. We're going to be putting it onto this terracotta pot that I bought down at the uh, hardware shop, just a cheap terracotta pot. I've put on some undercoat, a uh, lime-proof undercoat sealer that I've tinted to a light grey colour. It just helps with the coverage of the top coats. I'm going to be rolling and brushing on the liquid bronze, a couple of coats of that. When it's dry, I'll be putting on an acid solution. The acid reacts with the bronze and oxidises, giving it a light sand and burnishing it. It looks amazing, absolutely amazing. So, let's get started. All right, so the liquid bronze contains real metal. So it's quite heavy and the particles tend to drop. So really important. Give it a good mix before you use it. And as you're using it, just keep stirring it, just to keep those particles moving. Today, on this pot that I've undercoated already, I'm going to be brushing and rolling. Now, the reason why I'm rolling, normally you wouldn't roll onto something like this, but the reason why I'm rolling today is because you get some really beautiful textures from the roller. It's just a medium nap roller. And it's going to look like, when I've finished, it's going to look like cast bronze. So that's why I'm brushing and rolling today. So, once again, a really simple product to use. It's water-based, washes up in water, dries really quickly. All those really important things you're looking for in a paint. Okay. So, just roll and brush over the entire surface. I'm going to need a couple of coats. When that's done, I'll be adding an acid solution to the surface. That's going to oxidize and it's going to look amazing. But let's get started. Just brushing and rolling this texture, especially over these bits here, over this pattern. Just working my way around the pot. Put a coat on, I'm going to let it dry completely, and then I'll be putting another coat on just so I get a nice solid base of metal on the surface of this pot. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so at the moment on this pot, I have the one coat of the liquid bronze on here, and you can see it's a little bit uneven, uh, a little bit patchy, which means if I put the acid solution on, it's not going to react evenly. So I'm going to brush and roll on the second coat of the liquid bronze, preferably with a roller because it gives you that beautiful texture that's going to create the cast bronze effect. Brush and roll that on, fill it in nicely. Uh, I need a nice thin layer of, uh, of even metal for it to react properly. I'm going to let it dry completely. I'm going to come back, put the acid solution over the top, a couple of coats of acid solution, and then I'll be sanding it and burnishing it after that, and it's going to look absolutely amazing. So anyway, I'm just going to get the second coat on here now, just so I can fill in all these gaps that I didn't get on the first coat. Okay, so I've put on two coats of the liquid bronze, it just has to be completely dry. And now I'm going to put on this uh, bronze verdigris solution, which is a, an acid solution. It's quite mild, but make sure you're wearing gloves and probably a good idea to put on some glasses as well. The whole idea of the solution is it reacts with the base, starts to oxidize, and you'll get some beautiful blues and greens coming through, changing the color. And it's going to give it that really ancient, ancient um, old look that we're looking for and then I'll be sanding through it. But this, this is pretty straightforward, this bit. Just a brush into the solution, and I'm just working it the whole way through the surface, making sure that I get as much of this acid, just, just a, a thin coat, but it has to be as much of that covered as possible. So I'm working it everywhere, and it'll be reacting very quickly. Just working it over the surface, just random uneven brush strokes so they get an even patina or patina over the whole surface, especially across this decorative part here. Okay, look at these beautiful blues and greens that have appeared over the surface of the bronze. It just looks absolutely beautiful. If I wanted more of that, I could put on a third coat of the acid solution. I'd wait three hours after the second coat put on the third coat of the acid solution. If that was a bit much for me, too much blue and green, I'd just put on one coat of acid solution and that would give you a much more subtle um, variation in colour. But what I'm going to do now is put on my mask, put on my goggles, grab my fine grade sandpaper, I've got a 500 grit here, and I'm going to lightly burnish the surface. It's going to look absolutely beautiful. Liquid bronze of the verdigris so uh, solution over the top of it, doesn't that look absolutely incredible? Just on a terracotta pot that I've put lime proof undercoat sealer on, just give us a call if you're not sure which sort of primer you should be uh, putting on first. 
So I've tinted that to a light grey, I've put on two coats of the bronze, I've put on two coats of the acid solution and I've burnished it with some um, very fine grade sandpaper. It just came up absolutely beautiful. Easy to do, anyone can do it. Let me know how you go. I'll see you next time. Bye.